Hello and what is up YouTube? My name is G3Iron and today is the day that we have all been waiting for for, well, since the last time a league was announced in PoE. We're waiting for the 3.10 announcement and that is happening live today. Of course, if you are new to the channel, welcome. You can go ahead, like, subscribe and ding the bell for more notifications about videos just like this one. If at any point in time you'd like to reference any of the discussion points that we highlight today, there are some timestamps placed above my slightly balding and hyped forehead that you can, of course, jump ahead or revisit any of the discussion points that we've been chatting about throughout today's discussion. Because we're only a few hours away from our 3.10 PoE League announcement being live, we can, of course, make some last-minute predictions about what this particular league is going to be focused on. So yesterday I asked the question, Hey, when this poll is 30 hours old, I'll be live streaming the 3.10 league announcement. Make your predictions below. Of course, if you didn't have a chance to jump on this comment train or on this particular poll, no worries. You can drop a comment down below and we will get do our best to interact with all of your comments and all of your wacky hypothesis and predictions, of course, that you are making. So the first option that we had on this five option poll was that the 3.10 league will primarily be about optimization. This is something that we hear pretty much within the first week, I feel like, of any new league that comes out, whether it's on the forums, whether it's on Twitch, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Reddit, pretty much within a week of a new release in Path of Exile, players are already complaining and asking for uh, GGG to revamp their entire business model and just just take a league off from giving us new mechanics and, and new reworks and new skills and, and new, just take a, a league off from new stuff and just optimize. So about 13% of people responded that that was their prediction. Then about 8% responded with the second option, which was that the 3.10 league will be primarily about end game mapping. Now here's what I mean when I say end game mapping. I mean similar to a league mechanic like let's say Legion where essentially you're just going in and you're mapping. That's what everything is about. As quickly as you can getting through as many maps as you can potentially get through. Now of course when we're talking about end game mapping end game mapping became a whole lot easier and a whole lot more sustainable with the new Atlas system. But accompanying the new Atlas system, there's a whole bunch of drawbacks. Like at the moment, it's not at least publicly known by a whole lot of people, to my knowledge, to be able to actually repeat and target farm specific zones. We can't set up the Atlas in the same way that we used to prior to the conquerors of the Atlas expansion where we would essentially lock out particular maps and particular tiers from dropping entirely, and we could just chain particular zones. This essentially killed divination card farming as it was known, and of course players were still divination card farming, but it changed the way how players interacted with endgame mapping strategies, whether that be endgame mapping strategies to just rinse and repeat and run mechanics over and over, like Legion League, or whether that was magic finding parties in order to get specific divination cards to drop. So, about 8% of players thought that maybe this is what 3.10 will be about. 27% of players who responded to this poll said that the 3.10 league will be primarily about a rework, which I included on there. Maybe wands. We haven't heard much about wanding for a while. Wands really, uh, between wands and brands, uh, we really don't have very much in terms of the way of options for uh, build types and for skill gem variety. When you look at self-casting or, of course, auto-casting or summoning or even melee or even ranged, there's a lot of different skills that are out there. Whether or not they're all viable or not is different. Wands just don't have that many skills that are set aside for them. So this was the second most popular pick out of the respondents to our poll out of 237 votes. 27% said that this league would, of course, be a rework. Now, this is going to be the first standalone league of this particular year. The last league, Metamorph, that came out wasn't really a standalone league because it had the Atlas of Conquerors attached to it. And so last year, a lot of the time, the developers at Grinding Gear Games were working through reworks, whether that was reworking spells, whether that was reworking melee, or whether that was reworking bows that we supposedly had happen during Metamorph League or a rebalancing of bows, which I guess I guess a rebalancing happened. Hardly anyone was playing bows. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see exactly what this will be like, whether or not they will continue this year with the rework theme or if they're going to start actually incorporating some things from PoE2 into the various league releases that happened this year. 
the fourth option on this particular poll was that the 3.10 league will be a revamp of an old league like maybe Synthesis. There have been a lot of players who have been saying that maybe old leagues need to get revamped and expanded upon. Maybe that's the Prophecy League. Maybe that's Synthesis itself. Maybe that's Delve League coming back and having some more quality of life put into it. I feel like this would almost be like an optimization league, but it would be more in the way of like a 2.0 of whatever league it is that it was revisiting. Maybe it's an ascendancy league where we'll finally see the lab being revamped and reworked. Maybe it's a prophecy league where we get an update to a whole bunch of the prophecies that are out there. Maybe it's going to be a Torment League where finally <laughs> Torment will get reworked and Ghosts will get reworked. Anyway, there's a whole lot of different options out there if GGG decided to revamp old League mechanics and essentially get them ready for PoE 2 that is coming down the line. The fifth and final option that was on this particular poll was the 3.10 League will be primarily about something else entirely that I haven't included on the poll and 41% of the people voting said, yeah, that's what it's going to be. It's not going to be any of the above mentioned for things. Okay, enough about the poll results. Let's get into the summoner discussion topics, some of the discussion topics that you have mentioned down below. First off, Tora drops the comment and says, we need a summoner league so melee can get fixed. Which, of course, in my book, that's hilarious. We've had several different summoner leagues, at least the last three have been primarily summoner heavy, at least from my perspective. The quality of life that has come out over the last two leagues, particularly over Blight, and then of course over the course of Metamorph, have been exceptional. It feels great to play a summoner. There has never been a better time to play a summoner. But the irony here is, is that of course melee needs to get fixed, right? Again, this is becoming more and more of a meme in the Path of Exile community that melee gets needs to get fixed and so let's have another league where we're having another meta of something else other than melee because melee is in such dire straits Stefan drops us a comment and says, I hope they will do something about optimization and maybe a change to fire-based skills such as Fireball, Righteous Fire, Incinerate, since they haven't really been touched for quite some leagues, so my guess is that. I think that would be fascinating if they go with something like a, an homage to Diablo 2, like a Hellfire League or something like that, where there is a, a whole lot of fire um, interactions, fire-based interactions. Now here's the problem with this, Stefan, just from a, a design and a player interaction standpoint. If GGG comes out with a specific desire just to revamp one damage type, that would mean that they would need to do it across a, a lot of different sorts of skills. So for instance, fire-based skills, if they rework those, well, fireball can be used as eel, either an ailment-based uh, skill or you can use it as an on-hit-based skill. Incinerate pretty much the same thing. Righteous Fire is of course a dot which a whole bunch of different dots got included in onto the tree especially for fire damage over time and inc got included into the passive tree back during the 3.9 release. So it would be very very um, interesting but also a break in the GGG kind of design philosophy if they just were going to focus in on fire based skills because it would probably also mean that they're committing to eventually working on just lightning based skills and then also just working on cold based skills. The reason why from a design perspective that would be a little wonky is because skills from a design perspective don't generally fit even though we as players experience them in their um, thematic expression which would be fire cold lightning chaos physical etc from a design perspective each of those skills kind of fits into different mechanical spots so like if they're going to rework righteous fire it might mean that it's a dot based league if they're going to rework fireball then maybe they'll go back and rework on ailments right that seems mechanically to be something that would be more in line from a design perspective and from a design space something that ggg might do that being said stefan feel free to tag me and laugh at me if we're completely wrong and it's a fire based league michael drops us the comment optimizations lull on call Console disabling audio entirely stops some of the crashing. Sadly, GGG is too busy pushing half-baked ideas to take time to add crashing and performance fixes. This is also true on PC. If you actually go in and you turn off a whole bunch of your game sounds, it'll actually fix a whole bunch of your loading time as well as a whole bunch of the uh, frames that you'll get as you are interacting, uh, with, especially with in-game content. If you've got a lot of stuff going on, you won't be able to hear as much of the game, but you will actually fix a lot of the crashing and performance issues. So, yes, maybe Maybe we'll see an optimization league. I, I just don't see it happening. I know a lot of players want it. Here's the reality of it. A whole bunch of players every three months come back to Path of Exile for an economy reset and for new content. That is the pattern. That is the lifeblood of the company that is Grinding Gear Games. So if Grinding Gear Games 
took a step out and said, we just want to optimize this. The reality is, is they would lose a whole bunch of players who were coming back and who were excited for something new. The reality is, and the good news is, for you and for me, for those of us who enjoy Path of Exile, is that Grinding Gear Games does push out a whole ton of optimizations. The problem is, is that every three months they're adding new game content that adds new problems and new bugs, new bugs, and so they have to fix those. They have to constantly be bug fixing, and they do throughout the course of each league, throughout about the two-month mark of each league. They're still pumping out bug fixes for leagues. So so on the one hand, they're not probably going to take aside an entire league life cycle and say, hey, we're just going to uh, work on bug fixing this particular league. There's nothing exciting coming out. The reality is, is they still are working on things as they continue to release newer and newer leagues with every three month cycle. Critical Mass Review says they will make some big announcement about a rework yet again, but they will forget to change minions and necros again. So instead of whatever league they intend to make, it will instead be Summoner League the Fourth. As an avid summoner player, I would be okay with that, although I am hopeful. I am hopeful that not everyone is going to be pushing towards playing a summoner again this league. It would be nice if uh, if I could be unique and special again <laughs> in that regard by bashing my head into the wall that is playing summoner. It's It's been too easy for everyone to play summoner for too long. It needs to be hard again, where only those of us who are the most diehard necromantic evil summoning from the dead zombie people can can go out and feel like hipsters because we're playing summoners. All right, Scrub Lord says, hopefully there's some optimization for console. Movement skills have been getting worse over time. Even Flame Dash will sometimes go nowhere or TP you back to where it was cast. This, again, is not going to happen. What they're not going to do is, is come out here in a few hours and say, hey, all we're doing is we're optimizing. I, I, I just see that as a massive, massive risk. At the same time, it could be that they place a greater emphasis on optimization. So it could be that we see an announcement that they're going to be optimizing something, whatever they were already planning on optimizing, but essentially from a PR standpoint, just saying, hey, so many players are asking for optimization. What if we just like include the word optimization in some of our promotional materials and see if players go crazy? They might actually try something like that with some of the optimizations that they're already working on because they're already working on optimizations every single league. Next up is the Disco Mole who says this league mechanic is going to be an anime dating sim that lets you unlock cute waifu outfits for Zana and friends. <laughs> I I have no words. I'm sorry. I have no words. Disco Mole, I hope it happens just for you, man. I hope it happens. I I'm not sure if I'll play that league or how long I'll play it, but I hope it happens just for you, man. All right, Tiago says, Carpal Tunnel League. Isn't that every league that you're rolling prophecies? Mr. Lava writes us a manifesto of his own, which, Mr. Lava, if you're out there, I know this is like your hobby horse, man. So I'm going to read this thing, and hopefully GGG is listening. Dear GGG, hope this message finds you well. I'm your humble client and PoE's huge fan. Please hear my prayers and fix or improve or rework the damn trade system. Give us some quality of life options similar to some of the options on the Chinese version of the game, not going into details. Also, I hate the nerf good thing strategy. I prefer to introduce stronger, more powerful things rather than nerfing already favorable builds. Give us some bundle discount on MTX. And finally, please no rework for Synthesis League. At best, bring back the crafting system of Synthesis, but not the build your road mess. Okay, so a couple of thoughts on Mr. Lava. I I've said it before, I'll say it again. GGG is never revamping trade. They've come out with a, a development manifesto and said, we're not doing it. We hate that it's already where it's at. That being said, they could surprise me. They could surprise me. Maybe they heard your plea, Mr. Lava, and your plea was the tipping point for Chris Wilson to decide, you know what? As he scratched his entirely bald forehead, now is the time. Now is the time for a new trade system to be implemented in Path of Exile. In regards to bringing quality of life stuff over from the Chinese version of the game, there's a whole bunch of pay-to-win stuff in uh, the Chinese version of the game that is different from what the rest of us have, so I would be opposed to that. Uh, that's just my own personal opinion. On top of that, I think it would be great if we could get the synthesis crafting mechanisms back. I agree the build your road thing was a mess. Uh, the entire synthesis memory mechanic was a mess when it was first released. But if you played that league for longer than a, a month and a half, I believe it was six weeks into the league, that they finally got things fixed out and it felt good. It was almost like a mix between mapping and delving, uh, which people love mapping and people love delving. I can see again from a design perspective what GGG were trying to do there, but from a crafting side of things oh if we could have synthesis come back and be relevant again 
I think I think that would be it would probably be my most played league. Anyway, moving on from there. Tinda Kappa says, I hope now that they've buffed the bosses, they maybe introduce some new damaging abilities that are either dot areas or cooldowns, or at least some support gems like Unleash. The fact that most builds have only one damaging ability is one of my biggest turnoffs about this game. Plus, they've got to introduce this kind of abilities at some point if we're going to have 10 six links in 4.0, otherwise known as PoE2. I think you're right here, Tinda Kappa, in that eventually we are going to have a system where we've got no uh, more fusings, right? Because all of the fusings and the linkings are going to be turned back into gems. That's coming with PoE2. So I think you're right. Um, also, I think you're right in something about this, the timeline of it. Chris Wilson is on record as saying that PoE2 is only going to introduce the new Act Story campaign. That a whole bunch of the rest of the game is actually getting rolled out in between now and PoE2. So it, it'll be interesting to see exactly how much of those mechanics will come over and what sort of previews or even full-on releases of content we will see prior to and during the buildup of 2.0. I don't think any of this is coming out in 3.10, but who knows? I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again. iLabs Taco Mage says, I'm hazarding a guess that 3.10 is when we're finally going to see the hammer fall on Cyclone. Yes, I, I, we've talked about it all throughout the league. We did a nerf radar, and of course Cyclone was included on there. I can't see how, how Cyclone is going to escape. If Cyclone is any way, shape, or form playable, after 3.10 like and after the the patch notes for 3.10 i will be shocked i will be shocked if cyclone does not emerge from those patch notes looking like an 85 year old man that has been through multiple world wars and died in multiple world wars like that's what cyclone is going to look like it's going to be completely unusable and i'm afraid to say that probably the necromancer is going to look the same but who knows we're hoping, we're hoping that maybe that, that maybe, maybe some of us will survive as summoners. Waku Jitsu says, I'm calling it. Attribute stacking is going to get nuked. All uniques for attribute stacking are sent to the nether realm and become as expensive and as hard to find as headhunters. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm fairly certain that necros or summoners in some way are going to get nerfed. The question is, is the problem with stat stacking or is the problem somewhere else? Is the problem with the skill gems? Is the problem with the fact that you can play so safe? Is the problem therefore with the archetype in general? What exactly is the problem with attribute stacking? If it's just with attribute stacking and it needs to get nerfed, that's going to kill a, some considerable design space. That's going to hit bow users. It's going to hit melee users for people who like to use, use Brutus's lead sprinkler. It's going to hit players who like to stat thing who like to stat stack things like mana um, for mana guardians. Like we've got to think about this when we when we say things like, "Hey, attribute stacking is going to get nerfed." There's a pretty wide range of some pretty strong builds that are out there. Um, and granted, they're already expensive at the moment if you want to reach the top end of attribute stacking. So it'll be interesting to see what GGG decides to do, but I think you're right, Waku Jutsu. I think attribute stacking is going to get hit, and it's going to get hit pretty hard. But who knows? We've yet to see when the announcement comes out. And of course, once patch notes come out, we'll see exactly whose builds are left standing. Red Spike Martian says, since GGG does big patch, small patch, I'm going to guess that this is a small patch since last league had a massive content update with the Atlas. So my guess is either optimization or something else entirely. Also, hi G3. Hi Red Spike. Okay, so here's a couple of quick thoughts as we wrap up. GGG does oftentimes do big and small and big and small, and they bounce in between the two. GGG also oftentimes bounces between boss killing and pushing like end game objectives sort of, of leagues, and hey, you can just slow down and, uh, or slow down. Really, it's you can speed up and play in low tier maps and farm this particular mechanic in order to progress all sorts of different content that we're releasing. Depending on which of those two outcomes GGG decides is going to be very, very interesting. Because Metamorph League came with an expansion, I actually feel like Metamorph League was a pretty small league. Metamorph League didn't have any kind of endgame bosses to it. Yes, it had an additional zone that you traveled to to go to Tane's laboratory, but it, there wasn't like some sort of uber boss that you had to go and find, similar to uh, other various leagues that have been released, whether that was uh, Abyss League, whether that was Harbinger League, whether that was Breach League, even whether that's Bestiary League, where there are beasts and specific beast boss um 
uh, essentially recipes to go farm and fight. Like none of that was accompanied in Metamorph. Essentially, you got to go and fight Metamorphs all the time in Tane's laboratory, but really in terms of pushing end game, whether or not you were farming low level Metamorphs versus end game Metamorphs, it changed your reward level. It really didn't necessarily change the encounter in the zone, right? So there wasn't a whole bunch of extensive content in that regard. So I actually think that the expansion was massive and that the league was small, and therefore I actually think we're planning on getting a bigger league. A second counterpoint to this is that w would be that the timing of Metamorph League was actually right before Christmas and right during the holiday break, meaning there was a shortened period of development. Now, you could say that that's also going to impact 3.10, that there's going to be a shorter window of development. However, when you compare the ambition of Grinding Gear games with what they've released in the spring the last couple of years, they released Synthesis League and they released Best Year League, both both in the springtime, both after the winter break. They were both the first major expansion or the first major uh, league after an expansion. And so therefore, I actually think we're due for something big in 3.10 and it may actually shock us later on today when we find out what it is. Well, thanks so much for watching today's video. I look forward to interacting with each and every one of you. Feel free to drop a comment with your last minute predictions down below. And of course, later on today when the announcement goes live, I will be live right here on YouTube streaming all of the hilariousness, all of the excitement and all of the hype together as we all get ready for the 3.10 league so thanks so much for watching and i hope that today is the day a mirror of calandra drops for you thanks for watching that video if you'd like more information on any of our discussion points today you can see them down below in the video description if you'd also like to join our discord or support our patreon you can do so with the links down below thanks again a big shout out to all of our patreon supporters